everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to use gestures like sh swipe, shakes, to make the iPhone respond. So, in this example, I'm going to open up the simulator, and should come up soon. There we go. So, if, if we go to hardware, and then we press shake gesture, it says yay. And then we press reset. And then if we do that again, it comes up again. So if we shake it, it would actually work on a real device. It's going to say yay. And then you can press the reset button to reset. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's open up Xcode. And then go to create new project. And we're going to select single view application. And we're going to call it shakes doesn't matter what you call it, but I'm just going to call it Shakes. So there we go. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And we're going to go to main.storyboard, and we do not have much to do on the main.storyboard. So we will need two labels and a button. So let's put that label there. Let's shake this. And then we have another label that says, yay. And you can change this to any text you want. Then the button will say reset. There we go. And then we just have to add the constraints. And we're done with the storyboard for now. Now let's, let's open up this assistant editor. So that we can drag in all our outlets. So... Control click to there, and we're going to say label. There we go, and then reset will be a function. So connection is action, touch up inside, type name is reset. And there we go. Shake this will not need anything because it's just there to give you the information. So let's go out of the assistant editor and go to main.storyboard or viewcontroller.swift. So in reset, we're just going to say label dot is hidden equals false. That means we will show the label. And there we go. The next thing will be to add the motion functions. So let's say it's called override func function and then motion motion ended. And then inside here we're going to say if event dot subtype, those are the subtype of the event, equals the UI event subtype dot motion shake, which is a shake. There we go. And then we type label dot is hidden equals equals false. And yes, I have to make a correction here to true. And then in view controller and view did load, we're going to type label dot is hidden equals true. So that means you can't see the label. So this will show the label and then the reset will hide the label again. The code is as simple as that. So we can go ahead and run. So we open up the simulator, running, 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 there we go, and we can find out, I'm going to, so hardware, shake gesture, yay, reset, and actually I'm going to change this, I'm going to do, I'm going to create an outlet for the button, So that we can hide and show the button. 
sometimes we will not need the button to be shown. So if we type button dot is hidden equals true. And then when we do that, we have button dot is hidden equals false. So basically it corresponds with the label. Now we have that. And so basically we're going to link up the button now. So do referencing outlet button. So if we go back and compile this, it's going to not show the button. Loading. Shake it. There we go. Works as we thought. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I will be posting this on in the link down below. And be sure to keep on watching our videos. So, bye!